Jessica! Justice for who? Jessica! Justice for who? Jessica! Justice for who? Jessica! Justice for who? Jessica! Justin! Yeah, how are you doing? I'm doing well. I know we talked earlier, you've been here almost nine o'clock and uh, we talked on a couple of issues. And a lot of people are so international activists, advocates, human rights activists, and understanding uh, what religion is. Uh, all of people protesting and they are frustrated why all the clergy men did not come here today. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Um, once people realize that black lives never matter, black lives never matter to the oppressors. We've been facing injustices all our lives ever since we came off the cargo slave ships here to the gates of hell of North America. So here in America, you ain't gonna see these Christian churches showing up because these Christian churches are low key white supremacy. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. These Christian churches had these missionaries and stuff set up within the continent of Africa just to capitalize off of the poor, the poverty and our brothers and sisters. The love and the help that they're showing is not authentic help. So we need to realize that as brothers all throughout Africa, we need to realize that, that the help is not authentic. They're only doing it to get paid, okay? Yeah. So that's why you don't see them out here. There's a scripture in the book of Jeremiah where Jeremiah says, would a man rob God? God forbid. Most definitely. And that's what you see going on. Nothing new under the sun. Pastors, these people, these missionaries, all these people, they're robbing the Most High and they're robbing the Most High's people. Period. And another thing, there's a scripture in the book of Leviticus, in the Torah, where the Most High have commanded that we are supposed to give back and help the poor, the poverty of those who are less fortunate. So when you see our beloved sister Jessica going through what she's going through, by the hands of a member or a pastor or a missionary that went to your church, why are you not funding our beloved sister Jessica to help her get the proper medical care that she needs? Again, the God that they serve is not the higher power that we serve. We serve a completely different higher power. So that's my answer, my beloved brother, on Thank why they did not show up and why they're not going to support. And again, what is your name and who are you? My name is Brother Nasi Nazir X. That's N-A-S-I-Y, N-A-S-I-R-X. I'm the National President of the Line of Judah Armed Forces, National Minister of Information of the New Black Panther Nation. Before I go, I want to say this to my brothers and sisters in Liberia and all over the continent. What we need to start doing is mobilizing, coming together in unity as brothers and sisters. So that way we can raise our own money and our own funding to support each other and become independent and self-sufficient as a nation of people. So I want to ask, do you have any plan to travel Absolutely. in Liberia? Absolutely. As soon, what I'm trying to do is set up a division there in Liberia. Once I, I'm able to set up a division there in Liberia, that way we can build more mentors, more leaders, more teachers, more intellectuals, Has more not. community activists, Has not that more human happen. rights, civil rights activists in Liberia. Once we're able to set it up, once somebody is willing and that's serious about stepping up to run that division, then I will go there. And how soon not that will happen? Whenever we get somebody to step up in Liberia, we okay. got to get somebody there to step up. Okay, and how can they people contact you if they want to contact the the organization? Well, for anybody that's interested, because we have a, a number that's here in the U.S. Yes. So uh, for anybody to get in contact, um, you can contact us or send a text message to 763-760-0789. Yeah. That's 763-760-0789. Or you can email us at 
T-L-O-J-G-C at gmail.com. That's T-L-O-J-G-C at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother, for having me. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Welcome to today's Liberia Television. And I know today is the beginnings of uh, the movement to protest. It's a second day. Of it's a second day, right? Okay. So now, uh, what will be the next step? Um, the okay, the next step is we we are going to might come back on Sunday or we might not based on the results from the court. So okay, we have to go back in our like group chat. It's a whole group. We will have to discuss get to Jessica parents because like, we do communicate with Jessica. No, when is the court date based on the result? We will either come to the church or we will go downtown to the law maker office because like knowing our country and how soon are that going to happen um by tuesday i will go live to like give that information and where people can find you on facebook or uh, on facebook and then like my facebook name is charles sayonka c-h-a-s-a-y-o-n-k-o-n again C-H-A-S-A-Y-O-N-K-O-N. Thank you so much for standing for another female, for Liberian citizen. Not because she's Liberian, but also because she's a female. That shows uh, your integrity and that shows that you stand for accountability and transparency. Thank you so much. And we'll meet again another day, another time. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I see you are a little frustrated today. Uh, about uh, other churches. Right. Why are you frustrated with other churches? Well, other churches, more especially churches of Liberian origin. Liberian churches. Because there's an issue of a church, missionary, work of God. Most Liberian churches here, they carry missionaries to Liberia, missionaries go with them to Liberia, they have mission work going in Liberia. And yet, it's that a missionary who was doing mission work in Liberia have committed this kind of crime. And we would have expected that the clergy, the leaders of the church, would have came together, not only make a strong statement, but being out here today with us. I mean, look. So, none of them are here? Well, no. They are not here. I'm and not how do you feel about that? Anything for the clergy I, men in church. How do you feel about that? Look, I, I feel sad. Oh. And the reason why I feel sad is because I always say the church leaders in our community are the people that majority of Liberians take cue from the follow their religious leaders. Thank you so much. Eh? So what I'm saying Let's is up, the churches should have at least no, you have to forget the church service in the church. We all should be out here and have a church service out here. Thank you. So that we know, so that other church leaders and people who are in this church can know that we are serious about what we are doing. But when you sit back and don't say nothing, it begins to raise suspicions in our community. Thank you so much, brother. Hey, what is your name? My name is Valiku Kabo. Th thank you. All right. Uh, yes. I'm very disappointed in our I clergymen, our Liberian clergymen. They would have been here with us, no standing in the idea. sun. But we didn't see none. We didn't see none of them. And we are. Yeah, go ahead. We are going to hold it accountable. The reason why they did not show up. Yeah, okay. Okay? Yeah. Religious is for all of us. They needed to kiss in the church and be here. All of us can have this on the church right here and protest for, for our Liberian system. But we did not see them. Why? Because. You want them to cancel church for the protest? Of course. Is that going to help? It, the numbers are going to help, their presence are going to help. They are going to help based on their presence. So we wanted them to cancel the church so that everybody can come here. But we didn't see none of our pastors in here. And, and what is your name? Augustine Stalo. Augustine Stalo, thank you for sharing your view with Today Liberia TV. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you from the Netherlands and most, to be precise, from Minneapolis here, because we came last night, to be able to be part of this historic situation because we Liberians need to be together to be able to speak out against these ills in our society. We have overlooked these things for the past through our government, but it is about now, it is about time that we get together to speak out so other international partners can hear us, so that justice can come for Jessica. These are the reasons why I'm here.
Thank you so much. And uh, what is your expectation here today? From my expectation the, from the Crystal Church. Yeah, my expectation. Firstly, I'm very proud of the protest, the way it is going. Okay, without any form of uh, violence. Violence, which I'm very proud. And from the Christian Church, what I expect them to do to listen to these protesters, because. These are people that are working and they left their jobs. These are people that should have been to church. They left their religion to come to protest for Jessica. I expect this church that this uh, American guy is from to say something. To say something. It's necessary. It's about human life. It's alleged that the daughter of Jessica was killed. I don't know how true it is. It was not killed. It was attempted murder. It was tried to cut his throat. And uh, someone suspected, someone came and rescued uh, Jessica from that tragedy. So it was not killed, but uh, suspected murder. I'm talking about Jessica's daughter. Yeah, Jessica was pregnant. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That alleged, yeah. Yeah, it's alleged. She was pregnant, and I think they gave her something, I call into. Yeah. And she had me scary. Yeah. So anyway, thank you so much. What is your parting comment? And my parting comment, I wish to extend my greetings to all Liberians in America and outside. I came from far off to be part of this process. But I'm surprised that they who live in Iowa and other places do not attend to this uh, protest. It's very, very saddening and we should stop this. We are all Liberians. We should be there for each other. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So we have a lot of Liberians here. Uh, just is now about how many persons? There is about one or two persons up here. That's matter. Thank you for sharing. Stop this sending is today Liberian right television. television. We are best Stop in the right first right entertainment. Again, anyway, my people, I got to go back to Minnesota. I don't have a gas. Please send me cash up so I can. <laughs> I can check out in my hotel. Six one, six one two, three eight six nine six nine three. Again, six one two, three eight six nine six nine three. It's my number Stop to support today at Beira TV, so that we continue to bring you all of the happening. It's by your support. Every Sunday we will be here with you, and we will continue to travel around the country and bring you all of the happening. Again, my name is Nathaniel Saleh, your reporter of the day. We are best in news, first in entertainment. We are here to give you full report of what is unfolding here. Uh, today, Liberia Television, first in news, best in entertainment. We are asking you to share with friends, family, and group. Please, Liberians are crying here. Liberians are screaming for justice here. Liberian want justice. Everyone crying for justice. They want Luca to be persecuted in Liberia. They want Luca to be persecuted in Liberia. Again, my name is Nathaniel Saleh. Are you there with me? And you have over 400 persons watching you right now around the world. What is your expectation for this protest? Our expectation is to hold Lucas accountable for what he did. We want Lucas to go to jail. We want Lucas to serve time. We are tired. As Liberians are in tired. We are tired of the missionary raping our innocent children. We are tired of this missionary killing our innocent children. We want justice for Jessica. That's what I'm here for. You want justice? What exactly do you need from uh, for 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 uh, Chris Sada to do for we Jessica? Want so pay for Jessica medical bill. Jessica is in a hard time right now fighting for her life. We want Crystal Trust to be here and cannibal. They support her Lucas for a very long time. Look at this picture. This can be your daughter. Look at this picture. You cut this girl through. Crystal Trust must pay Jessica medical bill. That's what we're here for. Thank you so much. You didn't tell all your name. My name is Ada Quaida. Hey, Akira, thank you so much. A murderer. Lucas is and a what murderer. And what, what are you expecting here today on the what protest? What I'm expecting here is the church to take some kind of 
accountability, some kind of responsibility. That is the main goal of this protest. Because Liberia all over the world, they are in our inbox, they are asking questions why we are protesting again. We are protesting because we want the church to take accountability for the action. And what is your name? My name is Delisha. Delisha what? Delisha Brown is my name. Thank you, Delisha Brown. So librarians are here. So these are librarians all here. Yeah, what you say? These are librarians. Everybody, put your hands up. 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 Everybody, Everybody you taking everybody, photo. Everybody put your poster. You can lay in the grass too, so you can, you can yeah. turn it around. I want to see everybody here in the grass. Turn the poster around. around. So the yeah. 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 behind them. Yep. Yeah. 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 Justice for who? Jessica. 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 Justice for who? Jessica.